Well, today we're going to uh, try to install our fantastic fan. So this is the fan that we'll be installing, and uh, I think I've got a couple of places marked here. I just got to find out where my where my truss is for my roof, and then uh, 14 inches from that. So I need to cut a 14 by 14 square hole, and once we open this up, then we'll have to put a couple of sticks in here uh, for support and also something to fasten to from the, from the uh, outside on the top of the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and get this marked off, find out where I need my line back here, get everything marked and then uh, taped off, and then we'll cut this section out, get our uh, insulation out, and then we'll figure out how uh, we need to run our sticks in here. So let me get that all set up and going, and then we... Uh, punch a hole in this thing. So we have it marked off where we're going to cut our hole and uh, so my next step is I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes in the corners. We'll take the jigsaw, we'll get this piece of plywood out, we'll cut our insulation out and then we'll get some bracing wood up on the side pieces here and then once I'm happy with that and everything looks nice and neat then we will uh, drill a hole and go through in behind the counter, uh, the cabinet top We'll drill a hole and that's where I'll run my 12 volt wiring. Once all this is complete and I've got the wiring where I where I think I want it, then uh, we'll be ready to go on the outside and cut a hole down through the top and mount our fantastic fan. Alright, so this is what we have so far. We do have the hole cut within uh, our ceiling here and I uh, did my best to chunk out some insulation on the sides and getting ready to install. I've got uh, some inch and a half wide wood that I'm gonna put in here and get that in a pocket hole, some screws on the ends on each end here. And, now, and then we would have a nice enclosed area. And then we'll probably just take a router real quick and clean up the edge and then we uh, probably would be ready to cut the hole on the outside and get the vent installed. I think before I do that though, I need to drill a hole through here to run a wire behind my cabinet. So once I get that and I can fish some wires through, then, then we can knock a hole through the roof. So because I didn't anticipate putting a fan in the uh, ceiling, um, I didn't have it framed in for one. So what I would recommend is even if you don't think you'll ever put one in, go ahead and frame it for one anyway. Uh, that'll save you a little time. So uh, for the sides here, to make sure that I've got uh, some meat to bite into when I go to fasten everything down, I have my sticks made. They're inch and a half by two inch, and I have pocket hole drilled my uh, ends here, which I'm installing at this point now. So. I'll go ahead and get this installed and then I'll give you a shot once it's uh, nice and cleaned up. I'll take a router and make sure that all the edges are nice and pretty like. And then I think then I think we're ready to go on the outside. Alright, so we have the hole cleaned out. Uh, we marked where we were going to jig out our hole. And then uh, cleaned out the foam insulation on, our, on the sides here. And then I added an extra board here on the front so we've got a nice inch and a half bite. I put an uh, inch and a half on the side by two inch here on both sides and we're back so we've got 14 inches in distance here, 14 here. So I think what I'm going to do is to clean it up is I'm going to run a router around this edge real quick, clean that up so I've got a nice uh, Eh, I like it look nice. I mean, it's probably good to go the way it is. Nobody will ever see it, but I know it's there, so I'm going to clean that up and then uh, go ahead and punch a hole here, try to fish through our wires. Once that's set, then we're ready to cut a hole in the top, and what I'll do is I'll take a drill bit right here on this corner. We'll drill through the roof on each corner, and then when we get on the top of the roof, we'll connect the dots, trim our rubber roofing, and then we will take a router and uh, actually trim that out nice and pretty like. 
and then we can drop our fan in. So it's coming along. Awesome. So here it is. Nice and cleaned up. So uh, we are ready to uh, knock a hole for our wiring and then uh, punch a hole for our vent in the ceiling. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I think it's supposed to rain. But if I can get up early enough, we might be able to install this bad boy. So, all right, so we're looking good. And uh, yeah, I think, that, uh, I think that's working out really well. Okay, so it's the next morning actually. And it is about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I have a, about a good hour before uh, I think the rain is gonna start. So what I wanna do before the rain starts is go ahead and install the fan in the ceiling. So right now we're gonna get ready. We're gonna punch four holes in the corners here. We'll go on top. We'll trim out our rubber roofing and then we'll clean everything up, lay down our butyl tape, uh, put the fan in place, get it fastened down and uh, throw some lap sealant around it and get our cover on and we'll call that good. Then we'll come in and worry about running our wiring. Um, and because of the rain uh, that's about ready to come, I think it's supposed to last pretty much all week. Well, I want to make sure I get the fan in, then I can worry about the wiring later. So, without any further ado, let's get on the roof. All right, so we're going to go ahead and punch in our four holes on the corner here, straight up. So now we'll go on the uh, roof, trim out the rubber roofing, get our router, and uh, cut this hole out. I think what I'll do is tape something up under here, make sure that uh, none of the crap drops down because I'd have more cleanup. So there we go. We have the uh, inside here covered so when I'm routering, I don't get all that yucky dust and everything down inside. So let's get on the roof. So we have our four holes. Now what I'm gonna do is lay a straight edge on here. We'll go ahead and trim our rubber roofing back to these holes, peel this off, get our router, and go ahead and cut this out and uh, get ready to install the, the fan. All right, now we'll punch a hole in here, take our router, and uh, go around that bad boy, get a hole cut. Okay, so with everything trimmed up nice and neat, and uh, we've got our butyl tape around our edge, now we're ready to set the fan in place, and we'll get that securely fastened, and then probably do a little bit of lap sealant, and put our uh, vent cover on, and I think that will complete at least the installation of the fan on the roof. Now we'll drill our holes, go ahead and get those all set, make sure our putty squishes out nice and neat, and then uh, ready to seal it up. So we got some good oozing coming out. So what we'll do is we'll trim up around that and then we'll uh, get ready for some lap sealant. So I still have two or four brackets that I need to put, two on each side for our uh, hood, and then uh, will be done. Now that we got everything on, what we're going to do is uh, remove these four screws, two on each side, put our lap seal in around, and then uh, install our brackets for our cover, and reinstall, and put some lap sealant over that, and put our cover on.
now we can install the cover and we'll get that in place here just like so and we put our washer on top and then we can uh, put our clips in that is that. So we have a nice uh, nice setup there. Voila. Now I think it can rain. Wash off some of that sawdust, get all that nasty stuff on there and I think I'll keep the trailer level for a little bit until uh, Everything is set up nice and pretty, but that looks pretty good up there. Nice and centered, and let's go down inside and see what it looks like. So from the inside, that is good. We have our wires hanging down here. We'll be running it through here and probably taping it along this edge before we put our uh, um, finish ring on. And inside you can see the uh, bug screen from the outside. That looks good. And... We can open this bad boy up. There we go. Just like so. I'm kind of anxious to get that thing running. Nice and sealed. So I think we'll call that good for this video. Um, what did we get accomplished? We marked everything out. We uh, made our lines where we're going to cut our hole, taped everything off drilled a couple pilot holes, took a jigsaw and uh, cut the hole out, added a couple pieces of wood here on the side so we can fasten everything down, clean everything up, go on the outside, trimmed out our rubber piece, drilled a hole, router that out, and uh, butyl tape, put down our fan and tighten everything down and then come back and laid some lap sealant, popped out a couple screws, put our brackets on for our cover, put those in place, lap seal it over the screws and uh, secured our cover. So we got all that done. All that's left now is the wiring. So that's going to take a little time because I got to run some more wiring and uh, make sure everything works fine. But uh, we do have the fan installed and it looks good and uh, I'm happy with that. So thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next time when we uh, get together. We'll test this fan out and see how well it uh, pulls some air. Stay tuned.